You're watching 33 WYTV News in high definition. Youngstown State math major Eric Shahadi recently developed and presented to the city of Youngstown a mathematical model to prioritize demolitions in the city. And joining us to talk about his invention is Eric Shahadi himself. Eric, what exactly did you put in this model? What were the variables laid in this mathematical model to come up with the end result? Stan, we looked at four different things. First and foremost, we looked at the property condition, uh, the condition of the actual vacant home. Uh, with the idea that you want to take down homes that are blighted and abandoned. That can't bad condition. be fixed up. Yes. Okay, no problem. So that's about a fourth of four tenths of the score is the condition of the home. Then next I did a geographical analysis. We looked and counted how many vacant homes and how many occupied homes were around a certain vacant home with the idea that you want more occupied homes and less vacant homes. You don't want to demolish a vacant home in a street where they're all vacant. Exactly. Okay. You want to get it in a neighborhood where people are living there. Gotcha. Then the last two things we looked at, we focused on the neighborhood that the home was in. So first I looked at whether or not that neighborhood had an active crime watch, neighborhood organization, some kind of neighborhood citizen group active there. And we also looked at if uh, the neighborhood was a, a YNDC neighborhood. YNDC has been focusing resources in certain neighborhoods in the city and also throughout the city. But we look we, with the idea that if we're putting resources in a neighborhood, we want to continue right. to put resources in the neighborhood. YNDC being the Youngstown Neighborhood Development Corporation. Yes, and where you, I, I you inter interned there, didn't you? Yes, I started interning there last September, and I'm going to be interning there all full. And that's kind of where the model came from, correct? Yes. All right, what we want to do is we want to show the audience the results. These are the top five properties that Eric recommends that the city demolish first, correct? Yes. Now, I noticed the two of them are actually on McLeod. Apparently, the neighborhood that you're looking at there is a fairly nice neighborhood, and these are the two worst properties in the neighborhood, mm -hmm. correct? Yes. Now, where are the rest of these properties? McLeod, I believe, is a south side neighborhood, correct? N yes. Okay, and then the other ones? Bancroft is on the south side also and Evanston and Bonaire on the west side. All right, now, now, that you've, now that you've released these, what has been the reaction from, from, from the people in the city? Are they interested in what you've come up with? They're very interested. When I gave my presentation last week, I received quite a bit of positive feedback. Uh, in fact, city leaders are, were sharing with me ideas to further develop the model, different things that they'd like to see considered. Uh, I received an overwhelming amount of right. positive feedback from the city. Is this the first model you've ever built on your own, uh, mathematical model? On my own, yeah. Well, it wasn't on my own. I collaborated with quite a few people. Well, probably, yeah. Um, but, yeah, yes, it has been. First one you've done. Um, from here, what, we, do you think the model will need tweaked as we go down? You only use four variables. Mm -hmm. Would you be able to, able to put something else in there as well? That's what's great about it. If uh, you can pull what I'm currently considering, if you don't like that, maybe I'm considering it's in a crime or uh, an area with a neighborhood organization, we could pull that out and put whatever you'd like in. We can look at uh, crime statistics. Maybe that was one thing that was suggested by city leaders. Maybe let's consider where crime is currently happening right. in the city and focus on those areas. And like any model, it's going to need to be run every so often, isn't it? Yes. You can't just, this isn't final. Yes. Yeah. Well, hopefully, new survey data is taken on the city, maybe in 2013, to get the current property conditions of all the vacant homes in the city. Then you could easily apply the model right there. All right, Eric, thanks very much. Thanks Thank for joining you. us, and good luck down the road. Thank you very much for having we'll me. We'll be back right after this.